Hey guys, welcome back to another scrap mechanic video. And in today's video, I got some extra special logic for you guys. I saw the um, can Enigma machine he built recently, and well, I thought I I can improve that because there were some serious flaws with his uh, Enigma machine, including if you press W three times, then it would translate to the same letter three times, which is a serious flaw, of course, because you could just guess what letter it becomes and after a couple of guesses you would know which letter translates to which letter and there's like only not that many combinations it's it's really easy to guess now because if w translated to e e would translate to w in his machine anyway that issue is solved over here because every time you press a key this will cycle as you can see, it'll cycle to the next one. That's just, it's just that simple. That's the only little trick you needed to do. Now, also this one, like the real machine, has a plug board. So as you can see, we have all these connections over here. And basically a plug board would swap out connections. So if, for example, if we have this letter over here and this letter, then we could connect them crosswise and you could do that with other letters as well and then eventually you would get uh, swapped connections and stuff and then you would be able to do it like the real Enigma machine this actually adds a couple of octillion no not octillion a couple of billions and billions of options to the um, machine by the way the wheels only add 65,000 something options and then the plug board adds a couple of, well, way too many options, it's it's crazy. Also this one uh, has more options over here than the real one, because the real one only allowed for like 13 wires, uh, cross wires. Anyway, um, as you can see, 5 wheels to dial, this will translate to 3 wheels like in the real one. I basically translated that to a binary signal. Um, I basically took the pictures of a real Enigma, translated it to logic, like you would see over here, uh, 26 inputs translate to a binary input, shifted by the amount that the thing uses, then cross wires and translate back, and then like the real Enigma. It's it's not like what Khan did. Khan just I don't really know. Is it he did some weird shit? But this one is more like the real one. Now um, let's actually translate the message. So um, I have something over here, and this will translate to something. But we need to use the right code. Oh, by the way, this button um, rotates them all at once. And then we can try to rotate these over here. Right, I think this was the code to translate my um, my encrypted message over here. Let's actually try it out. So B would translate to B. Yeah, um, about that. The real Enigma machine had a flaw where one letter could never translate into the same letter. And that allowed the, the the British to decrypt messages and they cracked the Enigma using this flaw. I fixed this and thus this one is even more secure than the real Enigma. And w is R, then I is E, then L is N, uh, H is and you could have guessed that the rest of the message is batch, brand batch is a message. Now, um, cycle mode on off, basically if you turn this off then you have basically the same thing as what can has, only a bit more randomized, but um, I don't think there's much of a difference, it's just like uh, if you press C and C again it wouldn't translate to anything anymore, anything else anymore, if you turn this off. But if you turn it on, then it'll translate to different letters each time. As you can see. 
really awesome thing. Um, in this part, uh, I well, basically, I try to do no weird blueprint edited magic things. There's nothing glitch wallet, so that's good. Um, the only like edits is these self wired um, XORs, they are just for memory. Uh, I just want to make it pretty simple to save the buttons so they kept uh, being on over here. I didn't want to use the uh, the Nornor or a loop because that would make it way bigger and it would have way too big of a uh, overhead. So yeah, this is basically like the real one. Um, Download it off the workshop, try to translate this message over here, the code is over here. There's uh, no uh, extra plugboard settings for this one. Um, if you want to translate the message for your friend, you can set the plugboard to something different, but be sure to tell him what the plugboard settings are, because if you change the plugboard settings, then of course, to sort of translate the message will change as well. Be sure to subscribe to this on the workshop, have some fun with it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked this video and see you in the next one. Goodbye.